The Vegas 19 video editor just got released this week, and one of the things I found in it is a little bit of a gem that wasn't even announced. Let me just show you. I'm going to open it up right now. They have the ability, apparently they're still working on it though, to edit ProRes RAW. This is a clip that I shot with my Zcam E2 camera and it's just rabbits in my backyard. And I can drop this right onto the timeline. And there it is. I don't have a real soundtrack here because I was shooting through my window when I spotted the rabbits, but let's just see how it edits. This is the Vegas uh, color panel. It probably looks familiar. A lot of color panels have the same basic concept. They don't really have much set up uh, in the way of uh, uh, tweaking the raw parameters or even adjusting the gamut of the raw that is being captured. So all I'm going to do is play this and maybe tune it up a little bit using ordinary color grading techniques. Uh, they do have a bunch of pre set LUTs in here, but I don't think any of them seem to help ProRes RAW, so I'm not going to bother with them at all. I will come over here to the color wheels, and one of the first things I want to do is uh, apply a little bit of gain, bring this up a little. Looks like I'm a bit over 100% here. It's probably this white stuff right here. Nothing important to the scene. The rest of it looks pretty good. Uh, I might just tweak this down just a smidgen. Maybe bring this up another smidgen. And something that's new in Vegas is they got these um, uh, extended resolution uh, adjustments if you want to make very, very fine tuning adjustments, you can do that here without having as big an effect over uh, in the other ones. I don't think this particular one needs much. Uh, I do like the midtone adjustment. It lets you do some things in the midtone without affecting the uh, top and the bottom too much. I'll give it a tiny little bit there. Uh, and maybe I'll just bring down the saturation just a little smidgen. I notice that this orange is like almost ready to glow over there. I might bring it down to maybe about 85%. Eh, bring it up a little more than that. I'll leave it at 95%. I think that looks fairly decent. I'm a little bit uh, under over here, but there's some dark spots on this side, but uh, the rest of it I think looks pretty decent. Uh, so now I'm going to see if we could play this. Hey, it looks like it's playing okay. There's a second rabbit right in here. I don't know if you... Uh, yeah, he's showing himself just a little bit. Now, this is not fully achieving my 29.97 uh, frame rate that I shot at, but it doesn't look too bad for playing it. I'm not using any proxies here. I do have some pre-prepared proxies. I could show them to you. Uh, if I come down here and shoot into the actual folder where this stuff is. I had done this a little earlier. And this is right here is what a proxy file looks like. It's got this funny uh, file type. And what I did was I made a copy of it uh, here and I just changed it to MOV for the file type. And the reason I did that is so that we can look at it with media info, because otherwise media info would not recognize this as a video clip. Uh, it's actually uh, just another MOV clip. Uh, actually, this one is MPEG-4, so I could have uh, renamed this MP4, probably be more accurate. 
but I don't think it really matters. I see that it's XD Cam EX35, uh, and let's see. Yeah, it's 720p, it looks like. So it's fairly high bit rate, uh, but 720p instead of uh, the ProRes RAW that I shot is this. And just look at the media info on that. And you can see that it's all done with the Zcam. Uh, there's a, a whole lot of the their metadata in there. And this is a 4K file, 2160p. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just copy this down. And I think as soon as Vegas sees that there's a proxy file sitting in this directory next to this file, it's going to use it. So, and I see that it looks a little different. <laughs> Which is probably not a good thing. You really, it really shouldn't look any different than uh, what we started with. But let's see the playback rate. And as you can see with a proxy, it's uh, playing back at the full 29.97 rate. Yeah, this looks quite rich. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to render this because uh, I'm curious at this point what we're going to get. Are we going to get what we saw before I did the proxy or am I going to get this? Uh, so I'm just going to do this render. And I'm going to use the, the Magix AVC and render this with uh, uh, the AMD. Uh, this is a moderately fast render. And I'm going to put it in the temp directory on the D drive. And I can see right off the bat that this does not look like what it looks like with the proxy. This looks more like what we're getting what I asked for when I, when I did my uh, color grade. Now this is only about a 32 second clip. So you can see that it is taking a little while to render the thing with the color grade. Looks like it's going to take about two minutes to render 32 seconds of video. I should mention that this is a moderately fast computer. Uh, the CPU is an Intel i9-11900K. In fact, I could show you something here. We could pull up the uh, CPU-Z while this is rendering. I don't think it'll interfere with it much. It may make it take a little bit longer. Yeah, it's an Intel i9 11900K. And let's see, what kind of clock rate is it doing? Yeah, it's doing about five. Uh, core speed looks like it's about uh, five gigahertz. It'll actually go up to 5.3, but you know, it's one of those turbo boost things that it only goes up if there's uh, no thermal issues. And uh, right now, since I'm making a video, I've quieted down my fans, so it's not going to uh, peak out as high a fan rate as I would normally use if I was, uh, ah, I see that it's done. So I will close this and we will open it and play it. Yeah, that looks pretty much like what we got here. It's not exactly the same size. I guess I could size this to make a match. Maybe it would look a little closer. 
Well, I think what we're seeing here is we're seeing that proxy. So it's not really, we're not really a good match here. And I think that's done as the 32 seconds. Well, that's it, folks. Uh, I think uh, this has a lot of promise. I can't wait until they get the rest of it because uh, there obviously has to be some gamut adjustment. And, uh, and uh, I saw from the metadata that there's a little V-log action going on in there. Um, so uh, hopefully the next uh, maintenance release of Vegas will have more to it. Thanks for watching. Bye.